Hello everyone and once again welcome to WSQ Tech, myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video, we are going to talk about canonical tax. We will be understanding what are the canonical tax and why do we actually use canonical tax, how they are so much useful to us. So basically, uh, first let us understand the problem that canonical tax are going to solve for us. So uh, can you see on my uh, laptop screen over here, um, uh, you can see I have written canonical tax and we are going to discuss uh, about canonical tax in very detail in this particular video. So if we come to the definition of canonical tax, what the definition says is, if you have same or similar content available under different URLs, I mean to say if you have a website and on your website you have different pages and different pages means there are different URLs and in any case if you are having same kind of content on different URLs then there is the condition of duplicate content and which we actually do not want, right? That creates the problem. You cannot index or you cannot make Google index the duplicate content or you cannot make Google index the two pages which are having same kind of content. This is a big problem. So to solve this problem, we actually require canonical tax. Now let's come back to what is this problem. Let us uh, understand this problem in very detail first. Then we'll be coming to the solution. So if you have same or similar content, suppose if you have two pages on your website and on those two pages, if you are having same kind of content, right, same kind of content, same type of content, same text, videos, or you are just, you just suppose it like you are having two, uh, uh, two duplicate pages, right? One is the master and the other one is the copy of that particular page. And these kind of conditions, they, they actually arise in practically. Uh, you, you cannot ignore this thing. These are very practical. You are going, if you are uh, going to see the website, you will be seeing in so many cases, in so many different scenarios, these kind of condi uh, conditions or situations do arise where uh, your uh, content, your uh, single content is on two different web pages, right? So, you can use canonical tags to specify which version is the main one and thus should be indexed. So, uh, the problem is that you do not want your both pages to be indexed. You do not want your both pages to be indexed on the same keyword. Well, that will be creating a lot of problem for the crawler to understand what kind of content is there on your website. So what you want, you are going to instruct or you are going to give a hint to the crawler that, okay, I do have two pages on my website, right? I have two pages on my website which do have the same kind of a content or same content. They are just uh, duplicate to each other, right? But still, uh, there is a master content and there is a secondary content, right? Or a copied content or the second one content, right? So there is a master content that has to be indexed, right? We cannot index the duplicate content. Uh, you, uh, you are basically telling to the crawler that there are two, uh, two uh, pages with the same content. So please do index this uh, this page because this is the master page and uh, ignore the ignore the other one, right? So you have to tell crawler uh, just like this only, right? So you, uh, the problem the problem that you understand that. You cannot uh, let grow, uh, Google crawler understand your uh, both the pages, right? Uh, or uh, index your both the pages. So to avoid this condition, you basically have to use canonical tags. So this is uh, the use of canonical tags. If someone asks that why do we use canonical tags, then just to avoid the duplicacy or just to make sure that a wrong page do not get indexed, right? If we are having uh, two pages with the same content, we will be able to index only one page, right? Uh, we should index only one page. So that when someone comes to the Google and types any query over there, uh, our only one page uh, is shown into the search engine result page. We do not want to confuse the Google algorithm over there that, okay, there is a query and this particular URL is having two pages indexed on uh, on the very, on the queries which are related to this uh, particular page. So that is not uh, the correct thing, right? So if you have same or similar content available under different URLs, it that can be due to different conditions you can use canonical tags to specify which version is the main one and thus should be indexed so you can you can see over here i have written some example for example if you are having amp and non amp versions of a page so on the amp and non amp version that is accelerated a mobile pages version and non accelerated mobile pages version the content is basically same because uh, the content will not change only the uh, the pages the type of the page is changed that one is uh, AMP page, another one is non-AMP page, right? But the content is same. So, uh, for example, if you see the URLs, that how the URLs uh, will be there for AMP. And uh, if you see uh, for uh, a non-AMP, it will be like example.com slash page. This will be the URL. And for AMP, it will be like amp.example slash page. So, these two pages are having same content, but these two pages are treated as two different pages, right? These two pages are treated as 
two different pages uh, from Google's point of view, right? So uh, there is another example that if you are having one normal version of a page and then another one is printable version of the page, then the normal version and the printable version, they both versions are treated as two different pages, which you actually do not want, right? So you have to instruct Google, you have to tell Google, you have to give a hint to Google that, okay, there are two pages, but this page, the page number one is the master copy of the uh, page number two, right? So you, th this thing you have to tell to Google. And the method that you use or the syntax or the or the thing that you use to tell Google to instruct or to hint to Google is basically through canonical tag. So this is the problem that is basically resolved by the canonical tag. So if you see the syntax of canonical tag, it looks somewhere like uh, you can see it's an uh, like a link relation is equal to and then quotes that saying canonical and then href and here is the link. So let me tell you how you will tell Google that which one is the master copy. So, suppose if you are putting this uh, particular tag on any one of your page, right, this particular tag on any one of your page, then you have to add this tag on your, uh, on your uh, duplicate page and the link which is present over here indicates that, okay, I am putting this link on any page that is the duplicate of this link page, okay, the, the link that I have mentioned over here. So, this link is basically the master copy, this link is basically the master page and where I am on, on which uh, page I am putting this tag basically, this uh, particular code is the duplicate one, right? That is written over here, it indicates that the page on which this tag appears, where you are going to put this tag is basically the duplicate of the specified URL, specified URL means this thing, right? So, the URL over here which you will mention over here will be uh, treated as the master copy or the master page, whereas, uh, whereas on the page where we are basically putting this tag, we are writing this syntax will be treated as duplicate, right? So, this is uh, the way you are going to implement canonical tags, right? Then you have to uh, make sure that you are not making these kind of a silly mistakes that we have mentioned over here, a link relation canonical, you have to write this thing, right? This is the, this is the correct format. Many of the times we have seen that people are making mistake that they are writing only this thing, uh, page or page URL only, not the complete URL, the page part only, right? So you have to avoid this thing and you can use only one canonical tag per page. You cannot use multiple canonical tags on, on a single page. You can use only a single canonical tag per page and canonical tag is a page level meta tag that uh, with, for that purpose, you basically have to put it into the header of a web page, right? So the header of your duplicate web page, right? So that is that is the problem that is the biggest problem that uh, you will be facing that okay if i am having same kind of a content and on two different uh, pages of my website then there is only one page that we want to rank on there is uh, only one page that we want to tell google about so we want to index that page only so for that purpose we have to tell google very clearly that okay there are other pages also which are present on my website but uh, the tag with the page on which we are putting the tag is basically the duplicate of the uh, of the page which whose address we have mentioned over here right in this tag so i'm also going to tell you that how you can basically put this uh, tag on the wordpress if you have wordpress website then how can you use this tag or you can implement this tag uh, using the yoast plugin so let me come to this thing okay here it is so i am on on a page right over here and if you have this yoast plugin installed over here you will be able to see these kind of options over here and you just have to come to this advanced thing, right? And the page is selected. Uh, just look at this. This is the page, right? Uh, check out. Check out is the page. So when you come down over here in the advanced section, okay, let me click this advanced section. And if you scroll down, you'll be coming here and you'll be seeing over here canonical URL. Canonical URL option is present over here. You just have to put uh, uh, the master page URL over here, the master URL over here. And uh, this uh, particular uh, syntax will be created on this particular page. So, this particular page will be treated as the duplicate of the page. For example, if I am writing, okay, let me write uh, something. Okay, here it is wscubetech.com. So, wscubetech.com is the master page of this particular page, right? So, this is how we are going to use the canonical tags. And I believe you, uh, you got to know that how can canonical tags actually work and what are their importance. So that's it for this particular video. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.